Okay everyone, welcome back to another video. This will be just a quick update on the major changes that has taken place with the Oxygen OS 5.1.9. Yes, they have released an update yesterday and uh, here's the update size with 342 MB. So if you haven't received that, you will be receiving the update eventually. And the major thing that I'm really excited about is this improved image quality. You know how much we love the image quality if it is fine and awesome. So I've also taken before shots so that we can compare it now after the update. And yes, I will be showing you the proper comparison of the images because that is what they have changed, they have improved. And they've also added beauty mode for selfie portrait. That means they have introduced a beauty slider for the front facing camera which you can slide it and get some neat beauty looking images of yourself <laughs> and here's the integrated google lens mode so whatever you point your camera at the object will be recognized and it will give you some information from the google so that's an awesome feature and here's the messages they have added group mms i don't really know at this age who is using multimedia messages using the sim network so they have added group mms and the general system update which is android security patch to july 2018 and they have fixed several bugs and improvements and they've also fixed some issues with the uh, triggering wrong gestures at times so now it is working proper and, and also they have optimized the stability for wi-fi connection so now uh, wi-fi stability issues have also been fixed for bluetooth connectivity if you are connecting it inside your car so that has been also fixed general bugs and improvements as always they have fixed all that now the major thing that we will be looking in this video is the improved image quality how far and how much they have improved is what i'm excited about so let's take a look at the images and you can see it for yourself So here are the images that I took some of the images before and at same angle I pretty much tried to keep it accurate as you guys know how unbiased I make videos. So here's the before shots and at same angle I took the after shots you can also see the timing and all I will show you just now. So the first image we will be looking at is this uh, speaker. So I'm quite curious about how the dust and specs are clearly shown with the before update image quality and the after update image quality. So after the update they say that they have improved upon. So we will look at here. So this is the before image as you can say with the time here which was taken at 10.49 am and the after image is this one taken at 11.43 after the update. So both the images are taken at similar angle and here is the comparison of those images now pretty much as you can see on the left side you see the before image and on the right side we have the after update image so although as you can see the dust over here the lines the dust is quite similar but then when you look at up here the right side after the update image is much improved now so you can also see the lines are much defined than this before image and I think they have really worked upon the metering mode of the camera so that's why it is overall sharp and we have sharpness over only on the bottom side of the frame. So that's how the metering works. This is the first image and we have definitely seen some improvement with this. Let's move on to another image now and here's the second image. So as you can see again on the left side we have the before image on the right side after image. So, so as you can see the details, the writings, the label, Nikon and you can clearly see the after the update image is much smooth and looks more professional than the left image. Not to say that generally because they have updated of course it is improved not like that. You can see it for real here. You can also observe the fine line definitions of this lens over here so in the before image how it is and this is the before and the right side is the after update so i think the shadows the highlights they have improved upon a little bit and this one looks much more matured sort of image and here we see the shadows a little bit more and again i think the metering method metering mode they have worked upon 
uh, will result in these kind of images so as you can see this one is the dials are more blurry over here and there is a less water pastel kind of feel to the images so now it is much more smooth and defined lines so good that they have worked upon and listened to the community so even here you can see there is much noise this image was taken in the indoor situation in indoor lighting condition so i think this is really challenging conditions where you can really see the image quality okay let's move to the greens now so the color rendition has also changed as you can see the right side image is again after the update left side is the uh, before the update image as you can see the colors are more punchy now i would say the greens are more green and you have a little bit light green and even the details as you can see uh, the edges are not quite smeared and uh, edges are sharp this is the bokeh image taken with the rare camera only so as you can see the blur background also how the edges are defined i think there is uh, not really much change with the blurness here in the background maybe this one is looking little bit more blur than uh, before but then again the color rendition has changed and the image is quite sharp and more detailed that's the bokeh image the next image we will be seeing is the flash on image so both of these images are taken at same angle with flash turned on and boom here's the image so this is the image of a mouse so as you can see how the details are resolved now and this is the after image you are looking at now this one is the before image and right off the bat you can see how the mouse pad over here the detail and texture how it is resolving this is this looks much more crisp like i said i think they have worked up on the metering mode that is why the images tend to appear this way and for the better so here you can see the lighting how it has recognized uh, the more details is prominent here in this area which is good and the g over here you look at the edges of this one and over here so after the update even the colors have also changed this is on the warmer side this is on the cooler side i think this one is accurate so this is how it is we will move on to next image quickly okay this is a very challenging image i would say uh, taken at very very low light without any prominent light as you can see look at the details and look at how the images are being resolved and rendered now this is quite more professional like and as you can see the water pastel uh, like feel that we all are not uh, a fan of so here's the before image this one is the after image again much more detail much more crisp image this is what we expect from a flagship device so now you can be much happier with the images that comes out of the one plus six you just observe the cables the charging cables so this one is totally blurred but this one still has some details around it again which is a good thing so overall i think as you can see at the keyboard's top layer over here top side of the image there is much much more detail in the after update image so really happy to see that they have worked upon and given some nice improved image quality this one will be the bokeh test of the flower so here's the flower image as you can see the pinks have become more pink this image is little bit washed out this is the accurate color so the pinks have become more pink little bit saturated i would say and as you can see at the bottom here how the image is crisp and more detailed so again left one is the before and right one is the after the update image Uh, with the bokeh mode on and another thing we will look at is this nikon's close up so the left one is the before image right one is the after image and as you can see it for yourself what do you guys think of this comparison what do you guys say about the image quality has it really improved what are you seeing i am really seeing the improvement on these images after the update and like i said i have been stressing upon the metering mood has changed so that has got to, to do with some detailness and the overall lighting and other conditions that appear on the image here and the lens you can see here this sort of looks a little bit on the crisp side but then again if you look at the overall rendition of the image uh, certainly the right side is better again 
this is on little bit cooler side this one looks little bit on the warmer side again even you can look at here how the details have been resolved for both of these images so nothing is edited everything is just out of the camera so these were the images I have uh, several other images but again the video will become very very much lengthy so let's keep it to this much what do you guys say of this uh, update what do you think do you see really any changes I think they have made uh, changes for the good and this is how you can see against the sky in challenging uh, environment so this is the after update image left side is the before one and as you can see the flowers over here how the color has renditioned of course the lighting has changed dramatically uh, with the clouds uh, moving changing very rapidly this was the video i wanted to make you to show you the image comparison of the after and before images taken from oneplus 6 i hope this video was helpful if yes hit that like button and you know what to do hit that subscribe button to stay tuned i'm making a lot of interesting videos on this channel so see you all in another one till then take care everyone bye bye